Amy Grant is credited for putting the genre of contemporary Christian music on the mainstream map as she was the first contemporary Christian artist to have a platinum record, the first to reach number one on the pop charts, and the first to perform at the Grammy Awards. Today, with six Grammy Awards and numerous Gospel Music Association Dove Awards, as well as three multi-platinum albums, six platinum albums, and four gold albums, Amy remains the best-selling contemporary Christian singer of all time. Amy wrote her first song titled Mountain Man when she was just 16. After recording a demo tape, she caught the attention of a recording studio who helped launch her first record, Amy Grant, just one month before her high school graduation. Following her first record, Amy would go on to sing such hits as In a Little While and El Shaddai, which would later be awarded one of the songs of the century. Amy would become more famous in the world of pop with albums such as Unguarded and Lead Me On, but Heart in Motion became her crossover sensation with hits like Baby Baby. In 2013, Amy released her album, How Mercy Looks From Here. Actually, I had the idea, How Mercy Looks From Here, because so many times when a hard situation was going on, there was always an incredible bright side to it. In May, the floodwaters in Nashville reached their peak, and um, Vince and I lost hundreds of thousands of dollars of musical instruments, um, as did everybody in Nashville. Um, then Tuesday, I, my musician friend that I toured with for years had taken his life, and so his funeral was Tuesday. Thursday, my cousin Adam Spain was killed in Afghanistan. He's six years younger than I am and worked um, for the government. And then Saturday, Jenny got married, our oldest. And I just used the context of the flood to talk about you know, that there, you find good things in hard times. Since then, she has released the 2015 Be Still and Know, and most recently, Tennessee Christmas in 2016. She's an American icon, and most importantly, she is a towering voice for breast cancer awareness, who, like my mother, is grounded in honesty and candor. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming Amy Grant. A longtime and active Nashville resident, Amy is well known for her philanthropy. She is tireless in her efforts to help her community and charitable organizations in the state, as well as those beyond its borders. I will love music till the day I die. I will be a 90-year-old woman, Lord willing, singing to my great-grandchildren. They'll be going, shut up, Granny. Gone away. The blue. 